Hey Bible world, Bible geeks, Bible nerds, whatever category you fit in. Hope everyone's having a, a wonderful time with their ICR. If you haven't gotten one yet, you do not know what you are missing. Of course, there is, you know, um, the binding for the most part isn't done well but man I'm telling you I would rebuy this Bible a hundred times if need be this is the best Bible layout and I would shoot for the the goat skin every time just to have that premium block but that's just me what I want to do is make a quick video of my ICR that I just got done rebinding today. So, <clears throat> as you can see, this is a black calf skin. And, ladies and gentlemen, this leather right here. So, if you know anything about the the O2, the O7 NASB that that premium calf skin that everyone loves this leather is what that leather wished it was this is hands down in my opinion the best leather now the only problem is is I can only get this in black it doesn't come in red doesn't come in navy brown just black so filling this leather uh, rebinding a couple last week out of it and just filling it I knew I knew I had to have it there's nothing like it I, I you know I felt all kinds of Bibles you, you know like my my two column ICR, this is Battle Assy. This is really good leather, love it. And also my handy size, really good leather, Battle Assy, love it. But this right here is next level. The only problem is, again, I can only get it in black. So what I did was, is I gave it this black, my ICR this black calf skin stamped Holy Bible LSB and my logo I put the Cairo Alpha Omega stamp on the cover and then I put in hoc signo wind chase in hoc signo wind chase that's Latin for in this sign conquer so if you know anything about Constantine Constantine um, I think the tradition has it that he either had a dream or he had a vision and Christ told him to put this sign on their shields on their flags that in this sign they would conquer so as you can see maybe I hope that I put Navy perimeter stitching and navy ribbons so it already came with a blue page die under goad so let's open it up I did a black liner with a black end sheet and then I did the goad gilt line so when you open it up it's Genesis 17, the covenant, Abrahamic covenant. Well, it's pretty flat, just right there. And then you get to, of course, this is real heavy paper, good paper, 40 GSM. I mean, this is this is wonderful. The layout, I'm pretty sure everyone saw uh, 
videos on the layout. It is just phenomenal. This is by far the best Bible. I've preached from it once. I'm looking forward to getting back in the pulpit with it. I mean, it's so easy to just get to where you, you need to. Very easy to navigate. Uh, what else did I do? I mean, this Bible just wherever you want it, wherever you want it. So, again, just to reiterate a black calfskin leather, black lambskin liner. I did navy perimeter stitching, navy ribbons, goat stamping for Holy Bible LSB logo and in hoc signo wind chase, blank stamping for the Cairo Alpha Omega. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, if you do not have one of these Bibles, you need one. This is the best Bible I've ever held. And I have held, if you know me, I have held a lot of Bibles. I have done a lot of Bibles. I have rebound thousands. This is by far the best. Again, to reiterate the news, sad news, I can only get this in black. And if you do not get one of these in black, you, you ain't living, right? Like this is, this is where it's at. If I was you, I would fall in love with black Bibles. This leather is making black Bibles great again. Hallelujah, holla back. Hope you enjoyed the quick little review. I just wanted to uh, basically just show off this leather. Like, I don't know any other leather that feels this good. It is absolutely amazing. Hallelujah, holla back.